Time has come to throw down the next round of my Biostim pack, and I quite literally have a lot of ground to cover, but let's stop, bring in the cinematic bars, and enjoy where the yard is at thus far. Overall, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. There are some issues I'm gonna tackle in some videos here pretty soon. I got some spots that I'm gonna have to paint it black and I've got some weeds popping up in the yard. So we'll address all of those in videos here very shortly. But like I had mentioned, it's time to throw down my second round of the Biostim pack. So we're putting down RGS, Air 8, Humic 12, and 002. By the way, I now officially dub this the unicorn sprayer. You now it's got a it's got a horn on it. I will say this, if you are going to be using a sprayer to put out the bio stem pack, fill the sprayer halfway with water first and then add your concentrates. That water, by the way, is from the water hose, not the sprayer. The sprayer is not leaking, no one freak out. All right, one of the questions I get asked the most that I'm gonna address right out of the gate before I start spraying, what can you combine, what can you not combine when it comes to the products in the Biostim pack? If you're spraying out of a sprayer like this or you're doing a four gallon backpack sprayer, which is pretty common for most homeowners, here's what we suggest you do, the combinations you can make, and in this order. You can do RGS and Aerate, spray that out, then you can combine Humic 12 and 002 microgreen and spray that out. I know some people have been doing Humic 12 and 002 microgreen in the hose-in sprayer. They've had some troubles out of that, it's caused some clogging issues. That's because you cannot mix 002 concentrate with any of the other concentrates in a hose-in sprayer. When you're doing it out of a sprayer like this or a backpack sprayer, if you fill it up halfway with water first, then add your concentrate and then top it off with more water, you're fine, you can do that. But throwing 002 microgreen in concentrate with any of these other products, the RGS, Aerate, or Humic 12 in concentrate inside of the hose-in sprayer, not a good idea, you can't do that. The 002 does not play with the other concentrates in that cup very well. So that's why we say you can put the 002 concentrate inside of a sprayer that has water first and then the Humic 12 concentrate inside of the sprayer because you've got the water to dilute that and they're not just, they're, the concentrates aren't finding each other. So inside of a sprayer that has water first, you're okay. Inside of a hose-in sprayer, just the concentrates, not okay. So hope that was clear. Let's get to spraying. By the way, no longer have the wife's sunglasses. Yeah, what a surprise, a truck rolled through. 002 in humic time. I am putting both concentrates in here, but I'm putting water in first, then the concentrates, and then topping it off with water. All right. 
So, next biostimulant package. Let's talk about it. So again, I've done a video on each one of these products linked in the description below or the eye icon at the top of the screen if you wanna watch a video that I've made on each individual product. So what does this package do? The biggest thing that we're doing here is building soil fertility. That's what our whole program is about, to build a healthy soil system. We're also improving water infiltration, retention, and giving the plants more available water to utilize. We're increasing root depth, improving plant health, improving nutrient uptake, increase chlorophyll content, provide for the micronutrient needs of both turf and plants, buffer and extend nitrogen release rates, and add oxygen to the soil profile. Now, each one of these products have their own application rates if you're using them by themselves. And like I always say, if ever in doubt, print the PDF out. Go to greencountyfert.com slash DIY, scroll down to the application section, and you'll have individual spec sheets for these products and for the packages that we offer. And as if I haven't preached it enough, when you buy the biostimulant package, it's really this easy. You're just doing three ounces of each one of these products per thousand square feet once a month. And the reason we came up with that once a month, we recognize that most DIY homeowners they wanna be on their lawn at least once a month. I mean, I'm out here three days a week. I'm not spraying three times a week, I'm mowing three times a week, more on that later. But yeah, I'm out here a lot and many homeowners are. That's the way they prefer to do things. So that's why we came up with the once a month, three ounces per thousand square feet. Now the reason we do those low rates once a month, it's easy to schedule that and keep track of when you should put down your product. And by spoon feeding it like this once a month, you're giving the soil a chance to get really efficient at cycling through those nutrients. By doing low rates, three ounces per thousand square feet, you're gonna reduce the risk of plant stress in between all of your feedings. Less really is more. So going at it with a spoon feeding method, you reduce the risk of over applying any one particular product in any given application. Also by doing the three ounces per thousand, you ensure that you run out of all your product at one time and not one, two, or three, and you have more of this one, less of this one, it, it, you get it. Let's talk about watering in the Biostim pack after you've applied it. Now, you've heard me preach this before in the Ortho Dial and Spray Hose and Sprayer video, and also in the 1801 Green Punch video, but if you're using the Dial and Spray Hose End and you have the 20 to one dilution, you don't have to worry about watering it in. But if you're uncertain of that, if you use the setting that just does not allow for a 20 to one dilution, or you just, you're uncertain you got that 20 to one dilution rate, then we recommend watering this in for about five to 15 minutes. Now, if you're using a backpack sprayer or the unicorn sprayer, like what I used for this video, we recommend watering in the application for about 10 to 15 minutes. But once again, I timed it perfectly. I've got rain rolling in tonight, tomorrow, and Friday, so mother nature's gonna do some of the work for me. All right, well, there we go. I think I've covered chapter and verse, the biostimulant package, the products found within them. What other questions do you have? What I leave out? You know what to do. Drop those in the comment section below and I will do my absolute best to answer those for you. We're already dominating. I met one of my neighbors up at the gas station not far from here. She's like, what are you doing to your yard? I don't get it, so success. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. All that good social media stuff. Share out the video. You, you know how this goes. Keep on keeping on my lawn care brothers and sisters from other misters and I will catch you next time.